Hi, my name is Susan Zellman. I'm a second generation member of Temple Beth Shalom, a past president of the temple and a member of our social action committee. I've been blessed to live a privileged life. Like many of you, I have been upset by many of the issues dividing us. All over the country, a chorus of hope is coming from our children and grandchildren. They are marching, protesting, and demanding a better future as we, the adults, watch them with a kind of heartbreaking pride. They are not waiting for adults to figure things out for them. They have superpowers, innocence, idealism, and Instagram, and they aren't waiting for permission to use them to reshape the conversation around every issue imaginable. We want to learn from our next generation of Jewish leaders. Temple Beth Shalom Social Action Committee, in partnership with our education department, is pleased to announce an arts and essay contest for our teens and college students that will address the question, how does my Jewishness impact my work for social and racial justice? We are asking for submissions of artwork, poetry, or essays. We're eager to see a wide range of interpretations and experiences. Details are posted on the social action page of our website. Hey guys. My name is Andy Carmen, and I'm on the Social Action Committee. I knew a student who went to school during a time when African Americans could not vote, could not sit next to you in the movies, couldn't buy a slice of pizza and sit down next to you to eat. The student knew that this wasn't right. He learned more about the issues of his day and became involved with other students that thought like him that student was me. We marched, sat in, stood up, and frequently went face to face with people who didn't want anything to change. It was loud, it was difficult. We marched as did King and Stokely and others. We were black and white and Jewish and Christian. As my hero, John Lewis said, we caused good trouble. There was change, but there was still much to be done. Today, I want to pass that torch and responsibility to you. Look at the faces of the students in the, in the 60s and the students of the past summer. They're the same. The passion is the same. The cause remains the same. No long speeches here, no fancy words. I believe in you. I trust you to continue the struggle and keep your eyes on the prize. I'm proud of you for taking on this critical responsibility. I expect you to cause more good trouble. Get it done, make us proud. My name is Hannah Weiner and being an act, a member of Activate program at Temple Beth Shalom has taught me many important lessons about being a Jewish adult. It has taught me to take a step back from my own life and reflect on what I can do for others. In Activate, we have worked with so many amazing charities and people. These people have shown me that even the smallest thing can make a big difference. Activate recently worked with Birthday Wishes of Long Island and we donated gifts and wrote cards to kids in homeless shelters. We were told to write inspiring messages to the children and give them a sense of hope during such a difficult time. When writing these messages, it made me realize how lucky I am to be part of such an amazing community and to be surrounded by such caring people. Being an Activate has not only encouraged me to do better in my own community, it has inspired me to always learn how to help others. I appreciate everything that Temple Beth Shalom has done for me to become an educated Jewish adult. I hope Activate inspires others to give back to their community and teaches others to appreciate the small things in life. My name is Wendy Yeager Hyman. I recently had the pleasure of watching my daughter receive her doctorate from Harvard University. As I walked through Harvard Yard, I shed a few tears. My tears were not those of a proud mother, rather they were tears of a grateful, grateful patriot. I looked over at my mother-in-law who walked by my side. There she was, all four foot 10 inches of her, an Auschwitz survivor strutting through the yard with her head held high. Then I thought of my father who had passed away 
also an Auschwitz survivor, and I thought about how he too would have strutted through that hallowed space. And I thought about how they must have looked as they walked through the yard in Auschwitz, beaten, disheveled, afraid. And the tears left my eyes, for I couldn't help thinking that we had gone from Auschwitz to Harvard in two generations. Where else could this have happened? I am a first generation American. My father and mother-in-law lost most of their families because of the irrational hatred of people that needed to scapegoat an entire religion to explain their troubles. They were forced to leave their homes, their belongings, their families. And after all of that, they came to America, a land of promise and hope, where they were allowed to walk the streets without fear of being targeted, beaten, or killed for being Jewish. And no one blocked their road to success. My family's story is not unique. Jews have run into the arms of America since its inception. They have fled pogroms, anti-Semitism, dictators. Millions of us came and realized the dream that is America. On one level or another, my story is your story. We are all children of survivors, children of refugees. As Jews, we know what it means to be treated harshly, to be looked upon as less than human, just because we are Jews. Now it is our responsibility to work to ensure that no human being is ever treated unjustly again. We are all children that have reaped the rewards and the opportunities that this country has afforded us. And now it is our responsibility to work to ensure that those same opportunities are available to every person, regardless of race, skin color, religion, or ethnicity. America has fulfilled her promise to us, and it is our job now to help ensure that that promise will be fulfilled for all. Hi, I'm Natalia Hakimi, a proud member of Temple Beth Shalom and of the program Active Eat. I am someone who has led a privileged life in a cocoon of people who are similar to me and support me. Unfortunately, the majority does not have this luxury. During these unprecedented times, people need more support, change, and unity than ever. Although it feels like I live in a cocoon, unions like the Social Action Committee make me feel like I'm hatching out of that cocoon and becoming a butterfly. I'm able to use my Jewish faith to join and help others. I'm able to reflect and inflict change upon the injustice we see today. It is our job to combat racism, anti-Semitism, xenophobia, homophobia, gender inequality, and more. Don't choose silence and take a stand. In today's world, your voice is more amplified than ever through social media and the world's thirst for change. The time to change the future is now. You can be a part of this change by submitting a piece of work to the Arts and Essay Contest. Continue to spread your wings and morph like a butterfly as change is a beautiful and inevitable necessity. I'm Rabbi Kara Weinstein Rosenthal, Associate Rabbi at Temple Beth Shalom. Our responsibility to help create a just world in which the rights of all people are protected is certainly inspired by our experiences as Jews, as we've just heard. But it's actually also commanded to us by the Jewish religion. Judaism teaches that we are all created B'Tselem Elohim in God's image. Because of that, because every human being is a reflection of God, every human being is precious. Every one of us has inviolable worth. That's why it's our responsibility to make sure that all people are able to live in peace and freedom and that all people can have what they need in order to survive and to enjoy the blessings of the world that God created. The great rabbi Abraham Joshua Heschel said, there is no limit to the concern one must feel for the suffering of human beings. In a free society, some are guilty, but all are responsible. What does that mean, some are guilty, but all are responsible? Even if we are not personally guilty of creating the aspects of our society that lead to injustice, we are still responsible for working to fix them. That is the Jewish way. I hope you'll join us in this project to share your ideas about how we can be God's partners 
and creating a more perfect world. Once again, information about this initiative can be found on the social action page of the Temple Beth Shalom website. We look forward to seeing your artwork and your writing, and we look forward to having you join us on this journey.